Hey guys, so doing all this three-phase stuff, I want to get some numbers on the RPMs on this uh, three-phase motor here running off the frequency drive. Mainly because when I wrapped a rope around it and started it and hooked it up to single-phase 220, it sounded like it was running faster or louder or something than it did off the frequency drive. So I just wanted to verify that you know I was getting full output of the frequency drive, which I am. It's running at approximately 1800 RPM. The, Nameplate is uh, 1755 at 60 hertz. But I wanted a cheap way of uh, checking the RPM, so I picked up this non-contact uh, tachometer here. This is I found this off of Amazon. It even came with a little pouch too. I didn't know it came with that until uh, I got it. It probably said it in the description. You get three pieces of this uh, reflective tape, and so here's the shaft of the motor. I just wrapped the electrical tape around there and stuck a little piece of that uh, reflective tape on there. I did try it first just using the keyway and it did pick up on it, but you had to be just right to get an accurate reading. Whereas with this, you, know, you can be, you know, off center. You can be way away from it too. I'm not sure the exact range on this, but you don't have to be right on top of it. But uh, I just wanted to share this with you. We're going to show it on a, a little gas engine here in a minute, a little five horse Briggs. But uh, this is a easier way to do it, just for the initial, just to show you the basics of it first. It's real simple, and this, the memory will pull back the uh, highest RPM, I believe it is, or the, the last it was. But, uh, it's, and it comes with a book, too, if you need to read it. And uh, so let me fire this motor up here. I got it set for just uh, 60 hertz for testing. All you got to do is just press the test button, point at the shaft right there, and it's going to read out your RPM. Run at 1790, approximately right around 1800 where it's reading that. It's hard to pinpoint it exactly, but you can see it's right around 1790, 1800, somewhere around there. The good thing with the frequency drive, if you need it exactly 1800, all you got to do is just adjust your frequency up a few hertz. Let's put it up on 61 and see what we're reading. Now we're at 1825. Let's put it like 60.5. We'll get it here in a second. Eighteen oh six. Right there is exactly the closer you're gonna to get to eighteen hundred. You're not gonna get it exact, but uh, that's sixty point one seven hertz of what we're running at. And uh, again, stop it. It's a live readout too. I think it goes down to like 2 RPM or something like that, the book says. But uh, it's actually really, really handy to have. And if you don't have this reflective tape, I don't see why you can't just use like a silver sharpie marker on that tape and mark a little spot like that. So let's look at it on the engine now. Alright, so this is a little 5 horse Briggs & Stratton flathead motor. You see I already wrapped some electrical tape around the shaft here. Now I'm going to put this reflective tape right there on the crankshaft just like that the only reason for the electrical tape is uh, it'll uh, give you contrast for the thing to for the laser to pick up on it it's just not wanting to stick very good I might take some clear tape and wrap around it if I need to. we'll see what it does so now let me get you on a tripod and we'll uh, start up and see what to see what kind of numbers we can get out of it
be better if it was on a piece of equipment where you could just point at it. You wouldn't have to fight trying to hold it or something. But it still gives you an idea, and it's easy to set your, your throttle linkages and everything. But you see, it was out on about 1700, which is pretty good, especially 1800. And I don't have a governor, so I was trying to keep it below 4000. It's about 3600 your typical uh, full throttle RPM with an engine like this. But yeah, you just point at that shaft like that and it gives you a readout. Well, guys, if you got any questions or comments about this uh, non contact uh, digital tachometer, feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you later.